Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Sith Inquisitor playthrough in Star Wars The Old Republic featuring Zanandra, the Sith Assassin. Um, in the last episode we finished the Black Talon, that was some good old Zanandra fun, and uh, we're finally here on Droman Koss, we're ready to meet Zash, our master, and um, continue on with the story that Droman Koss is ready to provide us, at least with the, you know, the Inquisitor story. So, anyways, without further ado, we have to check in at the Arrivals console. We're going to go do that, and then upon doing that, continue on with uh, whatever else the uh, main quest decides to give us. Let's go. Your means Arias, this is most Quiet, bodyguard. Save your hissing for your own kind. As for you, slave, Darth Scotia is passing. Best get out of his way. Darth Scotia can wait. You're making a huge mistake, filth. Give your master a message for me. My eye is on her, and I know. Tell her that. I know what she's trying to do here on Dromund Kass. You and your master have gotten this far, but it ends here, slave. I alone have the key. Tell her that. You and your master have no future on Drummond Cass or in the Sith Order. Tell her that. Now, get out of my way. What do you think? Can you eat him? Johnny Bragais, uns in Freistubnajal. Ha! Fools! Looks to me like the only fool is that guy, because he doesn't truly understand the power that we are wielding, especially at a level 33. Okay, so now we gotta go travel to Kaas City. I haven't been to Droman Kaas with this character yet. At all. So, uh, we're actually gonna have to do some of the actual traveling ourselves. So, uh, these videos might be a little bit more travel heavy as well, I don't know. Um, I know with the Jedi Knight what I've been trying to do is recording an entire planet's worth of story and then cutting it up. And I think I want to try doing that with this one, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Like, is that a smart idea? Do you guys even care if I don't do the little exit and being like, oh, see you guys. Like, do you care? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do, like, a normal recording for this one, I think. A normal, like, 20 minute or so, and then do the outro. Um, let me know down in the comment section below. Do you guys prefer me to record the entirety of a planet and then just cut it up so that we randomly have cuts in certain random places? But, I don't know. I don't know. Is, is that whole me doing the intro thing annoying? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, every time I do an episode, I'm like, oh, welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor. Like, is that annoying? That's what I, that's what I want to know. And, yes, I just rephrase exactly what I had previously said. It doesn't matter. Alright? It doesn't matter. I need to find this out. <laughs> and it's not even like a need. Well, I guess, kind of, I, I would like to know. Because that, that could potentially make things go by a lot quicker for me. Because then I can get an entire planet's worth of story content done, record, or recorded and whatnot, and then, you know, edit it into how many ever, how, however many parts it needs to be. I don't know. We'll let the... Well, I'm gonna do that with the Jedi Knight playthrough regardless. Like, that's just... That's just going to happen. So... It is what it is at this point. But I'm just hoping that it is okay. That's really what I'm hoping for. Okay, Kem. Gotta put you away, buddy, because we gotta go meet Zash and all this traveling under... Oh, jeez. All the traveling in general is it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of just like walking around and stuff. I I have been considering doing jump cuts every now and again. Just jumping to the point where I am with the quest. Shut up, Kem. Shut up, Kem, I don't care. Jumping over to the um 
you know, just where the quests are, but I... While that would save you guys a lot of time. I mean, I still have to go through it regardless. And that's boring for me. Um, but at the same time with that... What if I say something interesting in between? You don't know that. Like, yeah, whatever. I don't really say anything interesting anyways, so... Eh. What does it really matter? Oh, hi, Zash. I've returned with a different lightsaber than you gave me. No, this is the lightsaber that you gave me, technically, right? Different color and a new outfit. I've returned, Master. I have returned! Are you acquainted with a big, ugly, half-machine Dark Lord? He had a message for you. Damn Scotia. What business has he going behind my back, speaking to my apprentice? Trying to intimidate you, no doubt. Wretched monster. More machine than man and dangerously powerful. Now, ever since I arrived on Dromund Cast as an apprentice, he's made every effort to stand in my way. Ultimately, we cannot even begin the search for Tulakhod's ancient power with Scotia's rattling breath on our necks. Somebody should stop him from breathing, then. Yes, and that somebody is you. You are going to kill Scotia for me. Finally, a challenge worthy of me. Good. That is precisely the attitude you'll need. I cannot be tied to Scotia's murder. Brazen power plays make the Dark Council nervous. But nobody will believe that a mere apprentice could defeat Scotia. It's impossible, and that's why it will work. Sounds like you relax while I do your dirty work. Dear apprentice, where I go, you go. If I go up, you come with me. Meanwhile, I must make plans for when we get there, so listen closely. I've begun to piece together the puzzle for Darth Scotia's destruction, but some elements have yet to fall into place. Out in the jungle, a group of slaves has recently revolted. They were working on a colossal statue that has since gone unfinished. I believe Scotia is hiding something of great importance near this statue. Get the archaeological plans to the area from one of the slaves, and contact me by holo communicator. In pizoze waitai spira press in kretai. In pizze e wanata atragata in dice. Good old Kemval. He's already tried to protect me. Well, I am his no. I. Zenandra is his master now, is it? Isn't she? That is how that works, huh? Right? Right? Yes, of course I'm right. That's that's the answer there. You go, yes, naturally, of course you're right, Novik. Naturally. You're always right, Novik. I mean, I'm never right, but hey, you're always right, Novik. Always. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm. You're, nah, your guess is literally as good as mine. Ah, oh, jeez. So, I, I think I've come to the realization that I should not record when I've just woken up. I stutter a lot. And I slur my speech a lot. I'm really tired. Like, really tired. It doesn't sound like it, but I really am. I'm trying to, like, force myself to have the energy that I need. But, um, it's just, it's not, it's not working right now. <sighs> but on the bright side, we're playing Zenandra. I really like this character. Zenandra is going to be my main character for the Bejerin Colony server? Like, without a doubt. There's no doubt in my mind that is what's going on. Because, I mean, I have a few characters of the Bejerin Colony. Um, in fact, one of the Republic characters I'm going to record will be here on the Bejerin Colony server. I usually play a lot on the Harbinger, in case anyone was wondering. Um, that's usually where I reside in terms of characters and stuff like that's where Novik is that's that's even where Eltrix is he's over on the Harbinger um it's one of the most populated ones so unfortunately everything's overpriced over there but um it's well it's not overpopulated because I mean sports was unfortunately coming to what I believe to be a player decline but whatever um but I mean it's got like it's it's one of the mega servers in terms of the amount of people playing on it. There's just a really large amount of people playing on it, and I'm happy about that at least, so. Uh, and that's why I have some of my, like, my favorite characters over there. 
I literally just don't have Zenander over there just because I just don't want to transfer her over. Otherwise, I totally would. Plus, the measuring colony need, uh, it, it needs a main character from me. That's really the extent of it. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Good old fun, 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 fun. Oh, yeah, that's right. She can go invisible and, like, mess with these guys if she really wanted to. Huh. I forgot about that. Ooh, all that lightning. All that lightning. Um, so we're looking for someone who's actually going to hold up. Oh, okay, so this person would hold the plants, too. That's good to know. I'm going to use Maul on her. Oh, it's a dude. That was, No, that was a chick. Okay. I was like, oh, it's a dude. No, it's a female. It's a he, she male. I don't know. Is that insensitive? Is that cultural? I can't speak anymore. Culturally insensitive. Is that just insensitive nowadays? That's really what I'm trying to say. Is that... Am I just being a jerk now? An insensitive jerk? I believe it. I believe I could be that guy. Wow. She just straight up... Wow. Wow! It's actually working. It's actually all coming to fruition. I really like the abilities that she has, though. They're really cool. Does this mean you found them? You found the archaeological plans? Hope there's not too much blood on them. Oh, no, no. I've read much, much worse. Now, let me see. Ah, yes. How clever. There's a chamber hidden under the Colossus itself. I bet my complete collection of Naga Sado's Yavin 4 writings that you'll find what we're looking for in this chamber. I'll get inside if I have to destroy the whole Colossus. Such zeal. But destroying the Colossus won't be necessary. There should be a hidden entrance near the Colossus. It looks like Scotia has an entire underground base. You're looking for a tablet. The tablet is the symbol of leadership of an obscure Trandoshan cult. The lizards believe it was a gift from their deity, the Scorekeeper. Scotia stole the tablet and uses it to exert control over his Trandoshan bodyguards. Give them their relic, and Scotia's power over his bodyguards will turn to vapor. His own defenses will be his downfall. You could try it. It might weaken him a little. Scotia's not stupid enough to retain guards who could actually overpower him. The main thing is to keep Scotia's bodyguards off you. The plans suggest Scotia's apprentices guard this base. I don't doubt they hold the keys to acquiring the Trandoshan tablet. Best kill them all, to be sure. Inubis just nas jans, now me pan asta na tods jans. Mmm. Yay! Now we go to Darth Scotia's bunker. It's too bad he's not sleeping there. Because then we could be all like, force invisibly and kill them. Kill, or him. Well, him, yeah. But, I mean, we're still gonna kill a lot of people, so. I mean, no worries there. People will die. <laughs> I love playing Zenandra, though. She's like my fun character. She's all sassy and like evil and bloodthirsty. And it's like, it's just fun. It's concerning uh, for me on a psychological basis because that, why is that fun? Because it's c the complete opposite of what I usually am, I guess. I guess that's, that's the way I view it. You know, usually. I have my bloodthirsty moments, obviously, because you know, you know, you know me, you know me. Just, just your everyday mass murderer, serial killer extraordinaire. That's, that's, that's me for sure, without a doubt. Because that, that makes sense. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah. yeah. How you guys doing today? <laughs> uh, how y'all doing today? I should, I wish there was a way to like sneak in. So I didn't have to be so blatantly obvious about it. I mean, I do have the stealth ability, but like, I'm pretty sure all those alarms would still go off. I would think. I would think so. Eh, whatever. Oh, I love these abilities. I love these abilities. They're so cool. Oh, they're all so cool. All of them. Every single one of them. And I, for a bonus quest, need to kill 25 of these guys. Oh, that's absolutely happening. Like, you better believe that's gonna happen. 
we're gonna go out of our way to kill everybody. That's without a doubt. That's what's happening. Very much so just because I like the abilities. Like, that's really like the extent of it. I just really like her abilities. <sighs> Sith Assassin is really fun. It's like, I don't know. It's almost the right kind of deep DPS, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Wait, assassinate. Attempts to assassinate the target. Oh. Okay, so. I should have that there. And Reaping Strike should be up there. That'd be better for me. Yeah, that'd be much better for me. Okay. You! Dang, dude, you went down really quick. Oh, that's really pathetic. Like, really pathetic. That's okay. Although, I keep coming to the realization that every time I play the Sith Inquisitor, I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite classes, I think. It's, um... It's a different take on usually what you'd see with, like, a Force user, you know? A generally different one. Um, that and both of the voice actors for this class are really good. Unlike, you know, the Jedi Consular, where everything just, just super bland. Sorry, Nolan North, but your, uh... <laughs> your work on that class is not, not your best, for sure. Sorry. In terms of, you know, at least vocal recording. I mean, I haven't played through the entire story, but maybe it gets better. Maybe it does. But from what I played so far, it's pretty boring. So, yeah, I gotta go through them at some point, though. I really need that like legendary status. Cause I don't have it. I need that legendary status to survive. You'd think I had it too. I just don't. I've only been through four of the available eight classes, anyways. So. Like in terms of like full on, I've only been through four of them, so. <sighs> and that would be the Jedi Knight, the Smuggler, the Sith Inquisitor, and the, um, the Sith Warrior. Those are the four classes that I've been all the way through in terms of story and stuff. I have problems recording Bounty Hunter and stuff as well. I was just thinking about this. Because, I mean, let's be honest here. I feel, I mean, while the gameplay is really good for the Bounty Hunter, I feel like y'all think the story's pretty boring. At least that's the general consensus I'm picking up off of that, is that you guys think it's pretty boring. And that's okay. I mean, I still need to record it all. I'm gonna post it all, for sure. It's just, it's one of those ones where I'm like, oh, well, I mean, they don't like it as much, so I have some troubles going back to it. But the show must go on with that. And that it will, at some point. I must return, but I mean, I'm focusing mostly on Fort. I guess the way I see it is you guys really, or I guess the, the trend I've noticed the most is that you guys really like Force users when I play the game. Lightsabers and Force wheel, like those are the kinds of playthroughs you guys really like the most. Granted, they're probably some of the most interesting. I don't know, some people really like the Trooper story. Um, I know a couple people that really like that story. I know a couple uh, a couple people that really don't like that story too, so... Mm, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, also, we hit 34. Did I get any abilities? No abilities. Did I get a person? Nope. Nope, no personalization thing. Okay, never mind then. Actually, what spec am I running with this? I am running Deception. Okay, that's good enough. Deception Assassin. That's actually very good to know. Wait for it. Oh, dead! Mmm, yes. Kill them all. Kill them all, Zanandra. Wait, I want to try this. Ooh, that's cool. That was cool. Assassinate's a cool ability. I like it. I approve. Gets the good old Novik stamp of approval. Which is really just a thumbs up. But, you know. 
The works. <laughs> the works. Perfect. Perfect. <gasps> Ooh. Hold on. We're going to go stealthy about this. Because I, I know last time I recorded through this, because I have actually done a full recording of the Sith Inquisitor and posted it too. Um, in terms of like the main story, I have, was doing coat fee and stuff and I hadn't finished that. Um, but uh, I know I did the Sorcerer last time. So it's just an interesting thing for me to be doing uh, doing Assassin as well. I think it's a fresh take as well as you know gender swapping from the last playthrough. <laughs> I, I I'm just thinking about random things to talk about. I'm sorry. Oh, did you see that little smile on her face? Oh. I've never been so in love. I mean, not really, because that's weird, but yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'm trying to decide. Should I? Yeah, I'll just fast travel there. We'll just go talk to Zash right now, and then, and then we'll end the episode. I was gonna end the episode before we go talk to Zash, but yeah, she's just a fast travel away, really. So, might as well go do that. But I mean, yeah. I, I was looking for like a really fresh take on this. Um, and since I was redoing all the class stories anyways, I don't know, trying to do a fresh take. Uh, I, I don't try to do fresh takes with everything. I have very, like, with certain classes I have very specific requirements in terms of what I want them to be. Like, for me, the Sith Warrior is always a dude. For me, the Sith Warrior is always a dude. That's just because I really like that voice and I really don't like the female voice for that one. I like the, I really like the male voice for that one. Um, this like Sith Inquisitor, it's up in the air really. I think Zanandra's gonna be, like, I guess female would probably be the definitive one. Um, probably male for bounty hunter. Um, I'm up in the air for Imperial agent, uh, but male for Jedi Knight. Uh, male for um, smuggler for sure. And then the other two, I'm not sure, so. We'll have to decide once we get to those. But we also gotta talk to Zayash. We also gotta talk to Zayash. I've recovered the Trandoshan relic. Then we've both had success in our endeavors. But the Trandoshan bodyguards are only part of Scotia's defense. His greatest weakness is that he's mostly machine. The rogue Sith Lord, Grathan, is holding a cyborg expert named Dorotsek captive. He has developed a neutralizer for me, the kind that should destroy Scotia's cyborg elements. Find Dorocek, get him to tell you where the neutralizer is, and then silence him. Do you have any other instructions for me? No, that's all for now. Grathen's estate is in the jungle. Interrogate the scientist. With any luck, Scotia will soon be out of our way, and then we'll be free to pursue Tulak Horde's lost power as we please. <laughs> the power of Tulak Horde. It's not a mockery. Screw you, Kemval. You don't understand. You don't understand the power of being an edgelord, okay? Uh, but anyways, <laughs> that was weird. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comments section below. What is your definitive um, gender for each uh, class? I'm curious to know. Or does it really matter to you guys? Mm -hmm. For some reason, it just matters to me. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we will uh, unlock Durosect's chambers and, uh, you know, do the next stuff. So, yeah. As always, to be continued.